Because you attract even the creator of all universe. Because of your beauty, your mercy, you always take care of all creation of him. You give love. You protect from the suffering to the living entity. Everything what is happening in creation, you care all individual. Every individual, not only human being, even the animals, birds, and the trees and plants, the mountains, the ocean, <coughs> the river. Is all your beauty is there? What is the ocean beauty? Because this is the beauty of ocean in the form of the waves. In the river, in the form of the flow, you teach us that flow is only one way. One way is going. That is the beauty of you. You are everywhere, in the sky. Without lightning, there is no raining. First is the lightning. You are like a light in the sky, lightning. And then cloud means the Krishna is a form of the cloud, black. And then this cloud is giving water after your light, that you are there. So where you see you and Radha and Krishna is there, that to understand. In the form of the plants, you are there, if somebody, the owner, the person who take care of his own hand, he give the watering and love to that plant, the plant will grow, flower will come. Right? See? You neglect, it will not happen. So even the plant understand you, but we foolish rascal cannot understand you. Why? Because we never relate with you. Animals understand you. Animals understand. You see this Gopal cowboy, how he relate with all cows. That before we have to send two person to bring there for the field. <coughs> And then he is coming, but he calls with the name and all they start coming. This is the love of Gopal, he realized. This boy, young boy, you see his behavior, how he behaved with the babies. And <coughs> the love, animals understand, but we, so ignorant, we cannot see you, you are existing everywhere. You always protect and give kalyan. Kalyan means always mercy. One flow. 
not without mercy. What is happening in universe? Maybe Krishna is there, but without your love, nothing can be a magnet. This is coming from you. This is the biggest magnet who controls even to the creator of the Supreme. He forget his supremacy and he wants to, to live in Vrindavan with the cow's protection, <coughs> cow caring. He forget his creation. He forget that he is Narayan. And he wants to shut the breast of mother. And mother don't want to say, Uddhava, come to teach. No. This is the love. This what is love. You are existing in the form of the love, in the heart of mother, in the heart of the friends, in the heart of all creation, all in verse. <coughs> all creation is you are the magnet. Love is the magnet, and this is the mercy of you. You give the mercy unconditional to every living creation. Why you do this? Because you are so kalyani that you... I know that you are antaranga sakti. You never go out from the kunja. You never leave the kunja. You never go out from Vrindavan, but your mercy, you expand yourself in a form of Anang Manjari. By Antaranga Sakti become Bhairanga Sakti. <coughs> this inner potency of the Lord Radhika, she become Bhairanga Sakti. Why? Because she is thinking when Krishna is in Kunja, but his nature is not always to live here. He wants to go out also. Then he needs some place to take care of him. Why he will take care of him, sir? Is a, is a IQ, anyone can understand. Why I will take care of myself? I don't bother. Even I cannot bother myself, why Krishna will bother for himself? So only Radhika is taking care. So Radhika become Bhairanga, sir. You say, what is the proof? He is a Balram. Bhairanga Sakti is Balram. Then I ask to you, why he wears the blue cloth? Why not yellow cloth? Why Nityanand is wearing blue cloth? Because this Antaranga Sakti become Bhairanga. No, no, he is a brother of Krishna. Yes. This is the beauty of Balram. This is the beauty of Nitai, that he is a brother also, and he is a sister of Radhika also. That is the beauty. What is the inside of her is more important than outside. He loves Krishna also because he is a brother of Krishna, but inside he is a sister of Radhika. And in the... You see, this is the two person, two, one person, two nature. And third nature is also there. He is a ploy. He is always keep plowing, right? So what he do? He plows. Not this land, agricultural land, he plow our heart. Plowing. Fertile, fertilizer giving. 
fertiled us with the Hari Katha, with the Krishna Katha. He ploughs us because he's a dry land like a rocks. I am like a rocks, but without his ploughing and without the listening, I cannot change. It's not soft. And it's not soft, you cannot give any seed there. Ploughing, putting soft to the land. Softness is important. When the softness comes, he fertile with natural drought and natural fertilizer. Then he put, bring the nice seed to drop inside us, his spiritual seed. This is not a job of Krishna. This is a job of Balram, Nitai. And this is a job of Anang Manjari, where the Radhika not go, she is doing, she do. Fertilizing, putting seed, and when the plants come, when my spiritual life grows, then wheat also growing with me. Same time, wheat also grows simultaneously because of the fertilizer. Because of the softness, wheat is growing and the plant is also growing. And if you leave it, the wheat, what will happen to the plant? It will never grow. Because wheat will cover to the plant. So Balram is going, <coughs> taking out the wheat, what is the bad habit <coughs> in my nature, what is the problem, blockage in my nature? What the block, ego is coming because I am doing bhajan, I am a big guy, I become sannyasi, I become this, I am a rich man, I am a this. So these are the weeds in our life he took out. No? This is the Mercy, unconditional mercy, without knowing. And then he protect with the covering, like you are with the devotee, this is the covering of Nita in Balram, Nityananda. This is the this the devotee association is a <coughs> finish face what you say? Fence. Fence of the plants. Well, very good escape. Protection. This is the facing of the land covering. Where you will go, your land cannot jump out from that. They will bring you back again. They will catch you. They are your brother and sister, friends. And this plant, slowly our spiritual life, not religious. You have to understand. We think that religious practice is a spiritual life. No. Why two words? Religion based on theory. And your doing is spiritual based on your feeling, your loving, and your realizations. Try to understand. You say, how to understand this? I ask one question to you. What, Jesus was religious or spiritual? Say me. Why? Why he is spiritual? Because he don't make theory anything. They're not sitting and teaching the theory. His association make you a strong theory. You don't need to prepare theory. 
theory is a foundation. Theory, you need the strong foundation. What is the strong foundation? Foundation you see of any building, you see the foundation. Twenty feet down of this temple, you can see anyone. You have to dig so twenty feet down to see that. You see the living place like this room, temple. You see that <coughs> living place we see. That is a spiritual life. Foundation should be strong. I agree with that. Philosophy, Siddhanta has to be clear. But we not live in the base foundation. We live in the room. We live in the flat. Right? It's space. We need the all comforts, kitchen, toilets, all system comfortable. So that is a real spiritual life where I have to live now. And what is now? To live in the flow of love. You see? This is non-living thing. He has a feeling. This pillow has feeling. This is stick. Any phone, anything is without feeling is material. And if you have a feeling, means if I have no feeling, I my whole body is a material. And when I have a feeling, that point develop your spiritual life. And that feeling only come jivere sarupoy nitte krishna das. Jeev sarup. Sarup of jiva is nitte krishna das. Jiva. That jiva is form. Sarup means form. Without sarup, without form, this and this ball is maybe twenty years. They have no any exchange, I see. This is super soul and this is soul. I see this. But they have no relation. Because no form. Right? But if you have a form, then you can see the form. If I have no form, why not I see the deity? I say altar. I say the murti. Why? Because we our form is not clear. If I have no form, I, how I will see the form of others? That form, jivere sarup, sarup means by the devotional practice, Prabhupada, page 4, by the devotional practice we develop sarup, that is form. And what is the goal of our life? Sarup Siddhi, the form perfection, asthai bhav, to live in this, that mood, that is the goal of the life, the spiritual life. Sarup Siddhi, Prabhupada words say, listen and try to understand. Sarup is why? Because my Sarup Imagine the Jesus Sarup is a son. The, my son can see what one son's soul form can what they see. 
father. What they see? The father family. That's the point. Your form can develop relation with Radha. Why Radha? Why not Krishna? Why Krishna not? Because Radhika will see how to be one-pointed. Krishna is many-pointed. I don't need that. I need one-pointed to only Krishna. How I will learn? I have to search one master who is one-pointed. So I search my master is Radha. Is a one-pointed with Krishna. I want to learn from her to become one-pointed to Krishna. So I need Radha. This is her mercy. You become twenty years devotee of Krishna, you will never one-pointed. Many projects will be there. You will never end your project. Do it. But you will never come to one point like Radhika without her mercy. Because you are learning many points to, <coughs> to organize. So Radha, this is Kalyani, this is the mercy, this is the Kalyan. Life cannot be without her mercy can see the reality. That I want to share you. The word of Kalyani, how she many pointed nature, how can become one pointed with her? This is her mercy. This is Kalyan, said say. Hindi Kalyani. Real Kalyan. Real mercy in our life happened that when I took the shelter of you, Swami. You are real Kalyani. You are real great merciful that you show me the way, right way to move for my life. This is meaning of Kalyani. I cannot by scripture, by listening, I cannot identify. But the moment come in my life, my life change. You show the way. This is the only way to go on. I don't know you before. This was my mistake. So his name Kalyan. Sorry, I missed him. It's too long. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> oh, Kalyani. This is the word Kalyani. Auspicious or beautiful girl. Oh, auspicious. You are very auspicious. When I see this beauty of you, that you are so great merciful in my life that you change whole subject in my life. Whole life I was running alone for Krishna, rascal, who has no idea, who has no concept of the jiva, soul even, with, oh, totally involved in my senses. I am searching for Krishna, crazy. I was so involved. You, you, by your protection, you put your umbrella, and my all sense desire is finished. My God, what can come to me? No other desire is left. You are the best. You are the beautiful. No comparison in the world like you. When will the jingling of your ankle bells 
when this air will become really that listen only your jingling from the your lotus feet only this is the desire you listen fruit of krishna i have no business <laughs> i want to listen your jingling of your lotus feet you going for krishna this jingling only happen when you have one wish a wish all to meet with your lover that jingling i want to listen and i want to listen only one jingling my life will change when will the jingling of your ankle bells that is like a notion of nectarian rasa cure notion of nectarian rasa when i will listen to jingling in my ears my ocean ocean is a wave without ocean you not go where there is no waves and this ocean is krishna and the waves in the ocean is radhi ocean like a notion of nectarian rasa ocean of faith is a nectarian rasa it will come like a waves inside me waves i am, i don't want to go to the ocean i want to hold myself i don't want to go krishna i know. but my feet is not strong to hold me the waves bring there unfit person will cannot hold himself because the waves are so strong they bring you love for the krishna i want to follow you with with you your love your jingling make me mad that where you are going i don't know by listening listening that jingling you reach going to near to the krishna now i understand you are for krishna you bring to the ocean the waves bring to the ocean means waves is radha and bring to the ocean krishna <coughs> Ah, you see so beautiful ocean is krishna he is he is krishna he krish ocean is krishna he is a blue but the waves are not blue waves are different than blue white white <laughs> that to see that that is radhika my swami Why, so many we say that I don't want to leave you to jingling that pair. Automatic will start happening. What I try to afford to do, but I cannot do anything. Ah. When will the jingling of your ankle bells, that is like a notion of nectarian rasa? cure my deafness wow <laughs> yes cure my deafness deafness i don't hear I'm i deaf. never hear what i start hearing my senses be- senses become useful eyes cannot see are eyes cannot see I can see, I can see, but I can see only just material thing. What is in our front? But eyes will open. Chakshudan deloje janme janme. Prabhu says, "What is this Prabhu who give me the eyes? Are they before you have no eyes? No, I have eyes, but I cannot see some divine thing before that." now i see only divine thing surprising thing what i never feel in my life before i never listen in my life before. that is start listening 
I just start looking, not know the start is smelling, my all senses will become <coughs> divine connection. You know, Narayan Maharaj is looking, sad, seva, sadhak rupena. Seva, sadhak rupena, what? Seva. And Siddha Rupena Chatrahi. When the Siddha Rupa is coming, your spiritual identity will fix. You will become like an umbrella. Chatrahi. Means what about you? You will put the umbrella to the Somni and you will put umbrella to your material body. Because when the material body will not change, you cannot see yourself. So seva, sadhak rupena, siddha rupena, chhatra. Chhatra means protection, chhatra. All the senses, what always disturbing to me, it will be in the umbrella of song. Chhatra means Siddha Rupin, the spiritual identity is the enlightened. You are living in that. That enlightens your material body and to enlighten you not to disturb that. Only a faint reflection of the illumination of Srila Raghunadas Goswami love and separation from Swamini is revealed through the syllables of this Vilapakusumanjali. You know, love and separation. How Raghunadas Goswami is living? He has the umbrella. He protect his umbrella with the siddha there. Then why he's feeling? Maybe if he come back to sadhak there, why he feel that? The moment love love become intense in your life, you feel even in the meeting separation. When we are meeting, we are living together, but you can feel separation that tomorrow I have to go. That is the intense love. Without intense love, not separation feeling. And what about that? Only the ten minutes somebody say that he will come five and he not come ten, fifteen minutes a day. You say, car is accident or what? And something happened, or tire is puncture or what? And what happened? Or he will not come? You start worried about that. This worriedness is your separation feeling. It's a natural. If you have a love, you feel separation. You feel without Lover is a separation. So Raghunath Das is feeling separation when he comes to Sadak Deha, that I lose the listening no for of Radhika. That makes me separation. <coughs> and he is crying for that. Why I lose is to listen to this. My Kalyan is Nupur Bara. What is happening? <coughs> Why not? I'm listening now. I'm not service. I'm not moving with him. That makes him separation. And then he cry. Then he chant. Chanting is for what? If you go in Siddha Deha, then you cannot say that I'm in mantra. I have complete two rounds again, then I will do your seva somni. Are? Are the separation crying? Separation japa. 
that I am in sadhak deha, I am doing this that I come to my spiritual identity. Not in the seva that, sorry, I am in Gayatri Japi <laughs> chanting and I will complete, then I can do the seva. See? Even you cannot do it with the Gurudev. And why Gurudev is teaching? Because Gurudev teaches that you have to prepare every moment in the service. Every moment. But when I will chant, that is your business. If your separation will grow, you will chant. Your separation is not there. Why you will chant, my dear? Then under pressure, others will say, you have to chant 164 rounds, 16 rounds. You have to take promise. Why to take promise, boy? I am very close. I cannot live without this thing. I will hidingly chant when I have a time for that. It's a hiding business. It's your loving business, my dear. I never find it to take promise with anyone, devotee, that you have to chant, you have to chant. I say, do the work. Chanting is your business if you want to grow your spiritual life. Then. But material life has to balance, then your spiritual life will be easy to do. And material life you disturb, then spiritual life will never grow, never grow, never grow because you need for realization peace. Peace. Peace will give you realization. I went to Assisi place. I see he's merit is a meditation place. I went with him. Meditation? What is meditating? Assisi and meditating what? Yes, is a meditation. For his realization. Why you become and meditate? How one meaning of meditation means you want to be relaxed. Nothing you want to do without meditation. And what is the chanting help? <coughs> meditation helps you <coughs> meditate. It may give you to meditate and it will give you to realize if you have a desire. I never press anyone to make this desire because he should be your, your own wish should come. It's not necessary. I say no necessary chanting if you have no desire for increasing your spiritual life. But if you have desire, you will see, you will chant, you will chant, you will chant, you will use your every moment of your life in the name. Because when you have a love, you want to be with lover. If he is not with me, name is there. His memory is there. His thinking is there. That makes you think. It's not a rule regulations. It's a love business. Love <laughs> I deviate, excuse my mistakes. <laughs> no. Krishna himself descended to earth as Gora to experience his own sweetness and the sweetness of Srimati Radharani's love for him. Again? Krishna himself descended to earth as Gora to experience his own sweetness and the sweetness of Srimati Radhika's love for him. Radhika's love? Own sweetness? We don't know. And Radhika love, 
लव ऑफ राधिका दिस इज द रीजन ऑफ वैष्णव गौड़िया वैष्णव अदर थिंग इज नॉट योर बिजनेस इफ यू आर फॉलोअर ऑफ चैतन्य दिस इज द बिजनेस कृष्णा हिमसर्व कम to feel his sweetness he has sweetness or roughness and for that sweetness he took the shelter of radhika how he will see alone he has to become radhika to feel that so he took the shelter of radhika to watch his sweetness from the eyes of radhika how radhika is feeling the sweetness of krishna and he want to see from his eyes the sweetness of radhika how she is unconditional love giving i say i will give you conditional love you walk eight step in bhagavad gita then he say i will come 16 step to you this is my sweetness huh? you have to step six, eight right bhagavad gita you will walk then i will walk you no know, walk i will not walk but he want to rally he took the shelter of radhika Hmm. to see what is plus minus and he is looking the eyes of himself to radhika's sweetness what what is any other philosophy here this is the exchange of chaitanya <laughs> understand sweetness Go on. For this, he became virahi, experiencing separation from himself. Ah, he became virahi. Virahi means Radhika. He want to learn this from Radhika. Sorry, virahi. respectful one he want to learn this viraha separation from radhika virahani he become virahani because she is the virahani she knows the feeling of separation he want to learn what is the viraha in a master we need the master more qualified than us then if the master teach you so he she he took the shelter of the master of radhika to see from her eyes the viraha and learning that chaitan chatamrit is a so beautiful grant in every place what the past time happened to feel which how mahaprabhu is doing what which time which bhav he is now then you understand chat chatam so research this now he is which mood sometime he is in the kinkiri bhav radha dasi and what krishna is learning to be a radha dasi and teaching <laughs> he is in radha bhav because he wants to learn vira and 
Sometimes he becomes Krishna Bhav to test his feeling what is happening. Sometimes he takes Bal- Rama Bhav to feel that Bhav is what Bhav, Mariyada Purushottama. You see? Satabhuj means this is the Bhav changing. And which Bhav is teaching more last time of him, teaching of his last some realization is a, he is living in the Manjari Bhav. In that to learn. Read again Chaitanya Chaitamrit, more relishment will come. Radhe. This book is the highest book <coughs> to realize, and when you realize this, every subject is a crystal clear to you. Yeah. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going uh, to listen to Srimad Bhagavatam every morning from uh, Gadatha, is this also like in which path he is then? Is this one time I have heard it, uh, Krishna trying to learn Radhika's path because she is explaining uh, as Gadada Pandit Srimad Bhagavatam in a special way to him? Or is First it. Thing. Gajadhar Pandit is not Radhika. Yeah, yeah, Radha Shakti, but then... Radha Shakti. And Radha Shakti, Anang Manjari. And Anang Manjari is... Radhika is listening from Anang Manjari. Sometimes she is listening with Visakha, mm. Ramananda Raya. Mm. Sometimes Sarup Damodar is telling Lalita. Why he telling to him? The, in the love, you have no time to share your feeling. The lovers want to increase only more feeling inside her. So Radhika had nothing to talk. Radhika never give the classes like I am foolish rascal doing. Radhika is only want to listen. My Gurudev is only listening. One stage comes when you listen only. You want to live in that flow. You don't talk. Why talking? Talking means emptiness. There is nothing missing something. So she is living in living with the Krishna. What is missing for her? So she wants to increase more, more, more. Viraha inside, separation for Krishna. You see this picture? With Krishna, both are there, both are crying. In the lap of Krishna, Radhika is sitting. And she is crying and Krishna is crying. Why? What is the separation? No, they cannot see the face, they forget that they are not near to them. That make him separation. She put one stone. No, no, she see in the Jamana is a river outside. There he see Krishna, then he was. She was okay because Krishna is here. 
Krishna is here. He is the water, but she said Krishna is here. That make intense intenseness to develop only to intenseness from Anangavanjari. Her expansion she is listening. <laughs> this the reality that to increase her taste to research in the uh, Srimad Bhagavat subjective how the Radha Krishna is playing there. We also read but we understand different way. There are thousands of meaning in Srimad Bhagavat, thousands of meaning in Chaitanya Gita. Gita, mm. Bhagavad Gita, thousands of meaning in Chaitanya. <coughs> mm. I will give you one example when it will come. Of Bhagavad Gita, 317. Many are know the different meaning, but I will also say one. You know this. I always share that. It's all in Sarup Avesh. 317 is in the Sarup Avesh. When this stage will come to you, you don't need to do anything. In the sloka meaning is this. You are free from all responsibility. Why free from all responsibility? Because you your goal is fixed. That is the meaning of that three seven. Without endeavor. Without endeavor. Do endeavor before that. When this stage comes, no endeavor you require. Read up yourself and see what I say shortly. In this condition, what I don't remember the sloka. <coughs> there is no duty. There is no duty, but Atmara. Atmarati. Atmarati, that point. Atmarati will come. Atmarati means your saruparati. Rati. Sri Guru Charane Rati. Atmarati means your manjani saruparati. Your spiritual body, Rati. Rati cannot come in Atma without self. Mm. That's the hidden meaning of Atma Rati. <coughs> Atma, no Rati, marginal, conditional. Two things is there. Atma has two conditions, <coughs> marginal and conditional, with my senses, body, mind, and independent. This is the nature of the Atma. Bhagavad Gita Prabhupada is a not a normal condition. If you want normal condition, that is, take the shelter, of pleasure giving potency. And he closed Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> the chapter is closed. Only one normal condition then takes pleasure giving potency. And the Bhagavad Gita finished. <laughs> now you decide what you want. You want to be abnormal condition, no problem. <laughs> What is the problem? But if you need a normal condition, <laughs> you have to take such a you know, pleasure-giving potency. Many don't know pleasure-giving potency research. This is the words of Prabhupada. And they say, Sakha Bhav. <laughs> if Prabhupada is Sakha Bhav, then he is no Rupa Nuga, and if he is not Rupa Nuga, then our all, 
or no Rupanuga. We can we follow Prabhupada and we are not Rupan Prabhupada is not Rupanuga, we are not Rupanuga. What you're doing, Vai? Is big offense. Prabhupada is standing to take the shelter of pleasure giving potency, they don't understand. <laughs> Very clear. This Suniti Diti is giving mercy. She collect all the words of the Mahajans. Very kind. Full to you, my dear. Yeah, go on. I block many things. <coughs> so Krishna Himself descended to earth as Gora to experience His own sweetness. And How sweet- He will experience His sweetness? How you will experience your sweetness if you are Krishna? You need my eyes to see your sweetness. <laughs> how beautiful, how you sing sweet. Right or not? I see my sweetness, or you see your sweetness. You need some shelter. You need some help to see that sweetness. Right? <laughs> it's a science, my dear, very clear, crystal clear. How, why not I understand so before? Yeah. And the sweetness of Srimati Radhika's love for him. Love for him? How, why she is loving to me? I act like a devotee. I love like a, I become black. I become very crazy, a stealer. All the bad habits I create in myself. Why she is loving after that to me? Why she like me? <laughs> Why liking to me? You will like some devotee. Any girls will like devotee, organizer, his husband, lover. Nobody will like. But why she likes to me? <coughs> why? What the beauty? What the thing? Why Kalyani? What so beautiful she is? What a sweet she is? Why she like if I am devotee? That was Krishna desire to know. Why she like? What the beauty is see from her eyes, I want to know that. Jai Radha. Tomorrow. Oh, evening, evening, evening. Yes, evening. Yes, evening. Yes, evening. Yes, evening. Yes, evening. Yes, evening. <laughs> what time? Yeah. 4.30 here? 4.30. Yeah, Jai Radha. The yeah. Ketan will start at 4 and class will start about 4.30 then. We'll start at yeah. 4? I Ketan. follow Ketan. my Suniti, you know. <laughs> two, two days before, he said, go Delhi. I said, go Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> he cares so much. <laughs> and we need some help in uh, Seva. If anybody is interested to do some Seva here in this holy cave, they can contact me. Radhe Radhe Mercy of Chaitanya is uh, <laughs> I research this. I research this because I am living in Vrindavan. I research this. Or Rasik, you see I am living keeping one Rasik. Larita Prasad. I am very much associated and I want to research what is the highest rasa. 
It's how fortunate I born in the family where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu devotees. I feel fortunate myself. There is nothing higher than this rasa. Nothing, nothing. Is no, no covering here. There is no. All covering is out. That is conjugal love. If there is a covering in conjugal lovers, then no conjugal love. Mother remove covering only breast covering. Baby play with the breast of mama and navels mama. Because I have you navel connection, she always play with the navel. She watch, ask from mama, and she say, okay, no, you don't need to bother. I open this, but not all. But there is no covering between jiva and the divine. That is conjugal love. There is no covering. Any covering will be there. You cannot become manjari. You have to remove all your covering. Not cloth covering. Your covering with the other's ideas. Abhiman covering. <laughs> Many coverings is like a mama give the toys. She make one room of the toys, right? So this is the our toys to play. Mama's choice. Mama give the feed, breast feeding and everything, and grow with that twice, permanent twice. Play with that twice, and be happy. <laughs> Don't bother for me, <laughs> because I have a f- other job. But conjugal love is no covering. Covering has to be removed from the. To, you see, the stealing of clothes. Vastaharan. Vastaharan is a removing the covering. Mm. It's not clothes covering, stealing. It's a removing the clothes of the gopi because tomorrow you have to come to the Maharaj. Mm. If you come with the covering, you cannot enter in Maharaj. <laughs> the gopis who has to go, they come. Krishna steal the covering. Hmm. It's a very beautiful pastime. <coughs> Every day, Bhakti you know, Thakur's song, <coughs> Basta Haranam. Why? Because he relies to remove the covering. It's all divine, my dear. <coughs> <laughs> Krishna himself descended to earth as Gaura to experience his own sweetness and the sweetness of Shrimati Radhika's love for him. For this, He became Virahi, experiencing separation from himself, from himself. So you understand how he can see his sweetness? Through Radhika's mercy. Krishna cannot his sweetness, what sweetness he has, without the eyes of Radhika. What is his sweetness and what is the sweetness of Radhika, then he needs that eyes. Krishna himself looking, but for sweetness of him, Radhika eyes he needs. Radhika feeling it. That is the region, primary reason for Chaitanya. His sweetness. 
he cannot see himself what is this if i want to see the sweetness of krishna my eyes cannot see that my dear we need that eyes that feeling of radhika to see his sweetness this is the meaning of that and who can know the sweetness of radhika krishna can know the sweetness of radhika how we will know it's a yes you have to be for that you become because in his gambira leela he is in his sarup manjari sarup krishna come to the king kari to show that that only the manjari is can <coughs> understand the king kari is can understand the sweetness of radhika this is i am giving you eyes because in the gambira past time i practice to be to feel that <laughs> krishna can see the sweetness of radhika and the king kiris baby of king radhika can see the sweetness of her mama no a third person is a, happen nobody can see the radhika sweetness without that we takes time when we become devotee of krishna then he show something about radhika and he teach us in a form of chaitanya this is the primary region of appearance that to, if you want to see that sweetness of radhika there is a one way to come in the jiva consciousness and get the sarup of that and this sarup of jiva is a nitya krishna das you cannot see out of radha and krishna and you will see all sweetness of radha we cannot do this in sadhak deha because sadhak they had there is no entry to the see the sweetness of radhika you cannot imagine the breast of radhika the sadhak they have cannot do that she cannot make clothes to radhika she cannot massage to radhika she cannot ornament to radhika because we have a purusha bhav without going out this male feeling consciousness enjoyment nature we cannot take the become manjari manjari means king kari king kya what i do for you what i do for you why i am this because you are the karuna you give the karuna you give the kalyani you kalyan my life you change my life what change you show the reason of how to be a one point by your association my life change to see the krishna and more details and clear so you are kalyani your kalyan your mercy your kindness change my life love matra your kripa by knowing you all change
Reason change. I cannot become Krishna to see the sweetness of Radhika. I can only become the kinkiri of Radhika to realize that This is the mercy of Chaitanya. It's never happened, never happened. And never happened more details past time in any Rasik Sastra, what is mentioned in our Gaudiya Vaishnava life. Go on. For this he became Virahi. Virahi. We have everything. We want to be in ecstasy, but we have never Viraha because we never love in life to anyone that I feel suppression. I have no Viraha. Viraha means love. Virahi. Virahi means, I cannot live without you. I am feeling so deep distance from you. I am not feeling near to you. I want to be always near like a shadow to you. Shadow has no existence if the Real form or object? Object is not there. My object is you only, you only, you only. No other object. You are the master, you are the teacher, you catch my finger and bring where you go. Nobody can do. We are all your puppet. Every one is your puppet. How you make to dance, we play like a puppet. <coughs> For this he became Virahi and taught all the sadhakas of the world that one must first experience viraha before being able to re relish Milan or meeting. We only want to listen to meet, meet, meeting some past time, some past time. But never I have an experience of the meet past time in separation because we have no love. The sadhak has to learn viraha. How I am existing without you? Wasting my time without you. What I am wasting and what I am getting with that? What? Many objects? This is my goal of life? Okay, do this. But that way you are not a sadhak. Read this word. Sadhak, if you are sadhak, learn to be, feel the viraha, then you are sadhak. Means, sadhak means you have a really goal for something in your life, and you feel separate from not doing that, that is the sad. Can I ask one question, Gurudev? This viraha, this uh, separation, you said, <coughs> I feel that 
I'm really wasting my time. This is one kind of longing and separation. And then can we say that there is no real viraha before you have some aprakrat uh, experience? You see, prakrat is what? It is my family life, living day-to-day -day life. Day-to-day -day life is a practical room. If you have no taste of the love and viraha, how you will understand what is the understanding meaning of the viraha? <coughs> what viraha means? What means separation? Just idea. We need to know this word practically. So this practical in life is happening. It happened to understand these words. This practically happened in life. Then you know what is meaning of selfless love and conditional love. And I can reach only in this material world up to conditional love. Can, can there be also viraha in the unconditional love? Unconditional love is always viraha, but conditional love also viraha. And when the conditional love viraha become very high stage, then you understand, bah, I don't want to leave this. I want to research to be deep, unconditional vira. You know? Then greed is happening. Oh! Sadness? That is also one sadha. Who, who is relishing conditional vira? Is a gift. Not a crash. <laughs> there is one story of conditional vira. One very rich person, very big officer. <coughs> His wife's name is Kishori. And both are in too much love with each other. And she becomes sick and she left the body. So his mind became upset and he was so much in Viraha that he became little crazy. So when he go outside, he said, so hidingly they burn it from him, so much their relation. But when he go out, you see my Kishori, you see my Kishori, you see my Kishori, only he is talking like Viraha is so deep, unconditional Viraha, you see. This is conditional, is a material life. But Viraha becomes so intense. He says, here, no, go Vrindavan. Kishori live in Vrindavan. They don't know. They think she went there to avoid him. He come to Vrindavan, he was so mad. He come to Vrindavan with him. Kishori is in Balsane. He went there. The details, but I am telling you in short. He come to the Balsane. He only cry, Kishori, Kishori, Vasane. <laughs> One day he stop eating, after two days he no eat, no water, nothing. One day, two days, three days, Kishori called to Larite. 
What is going on in Barsane? Say nothing, everything is fine. Say no, no, everything is not fine. How anyone can live in Barsane in my compass and without eating and drinking? Are he is a, she, Narita say he is a mad person in in conditional not for you he is a in separation of her wife and he is crying for her wife he said what what you are talking Kishori is my name and you say is her his wife there is no other Kishori than me. If you are not going five minutes with taking all food, I will go myself to feed him my hand. And this is a reality fifty years before happened. Real story. Real story. Larita and Kishori both went there in a village girl. Are Baba? Why you are you hungry? Not eating? Oh, I want to see Kishori. Are Baba? Eat first, then I will show you Kishori. Yes? You will show me Kishori? Yes. Agar tu khalega, if you eat, I will show you my Kishori. And you can imagine Radhika is cooking, Laita is bringing, and when the, this Baba starts eating, it all divine in his consciousness. And he sees Sakshat, Lalita, and Kishori in the front. <laughs> he is mad. And he starts living and chanting and living. He was 25 years like this. So many sevas, he is doing the Kishori. Sweeping. <laughs> This is the unconditional love of you. And she is the empowered to change conditional love in unconditional love. Mm. So it comes con conditional, come and unconditional. So it can transform. Transform. By mercy. It's all transformed. Everything is transforming. Mm. Govardhan, what is the meaning of Govardhan? Increase your sense desire. What this sense is? Whole life teach, teaching that reduce your sense desire. And again, Govardhan means increase your sense desire. What is meaning? Really is meaning is sarup sense desire increase, then material sense desire will finish. That's the meaning of that. Why Mahaprabhu gave Govardhan to Raghunatha? Hmm. Increase your sense desire. Become Rati Manjari. <laughs> Become like a Tulsi. And he do it. <clears throat> and he show how to be follower of Rupa Nuga. You read Rupa Goswami's book, you will not understand. <laughs> read which sense desire it is then to increase? Your soul, a spiritual body, Anandamaya Kosh. Ananda, what is Anandamaya Kosh? My spiritual body. Anandamaya Kosh is my material body. 
So if you want to increase that, it will decrease. <coughs> like if you increase this, it will decrease. If this is increased, this is not there. Like when you sleep, your body is lying, but other subtle body start working. And when the subtle body finish, immediately gross body wake up. So one has to sleep, one has to wake up. It's a nature. You, every day you check. When your subtle body is thinking, acting, and buying the car, making the house, making new family, your subtle body is too much active, but your gross body is on the bed. <laughs> so Mahaprabhu say, Jiva Jago, Jiva Jago. And if you increase your Ananda Mekos, your spiritual identity, and the increase the sense desire of them, automatically it will to go down, because that relishment is more higher than this relishment. Relishment is, you know, run away from there. And suffering means where you run away from that, is a suffering. You run away from the suffering. It's too much, over, run away. And here is increasing and increasing and increasing. You don't want to run away, you cry for that suffering. That is the separation I feel when I come again in this gross body. Annamayakush. Why come back? For that I am crying. Why we come back? Why come in the subtle gross body? Annamaya Kush, why I am again? To again suffer with my senses and with my mind and ego? This is my job. Jiva Jago. Wake up. Why sleeping? Why sleeping? Why you leave to sleep? <coughs> when you will wake up? When the day will come in your life to wake that, your ananda mekos, your sarup, your spiritual body, and to develop perfection to be always there, that is siddhi, perfection. How much perfection will come that area will become like a honey, and bee will come. Many will come without telling nothing, because there is a honey there. Every, every living being will come to test that honey. No need to invite, <coughs> no need to preach for that. You see Prabhupada life, this honey all become mad, where he goes all become crazy to darshan, to be near <coughs> Mahaprabhu life, you see. <coughs> what is that? This is the perfection in their life. Narayan Maharaj, you see, this was, they was perfect in themselves. No need. They don't bother for anything. Atma Rati, that's the Atma Rati. Rati means lusty desire increase in Atma. That Atma then you don't need to do anything. Everything will be happening to you, you will surprise me. I don't understand. 
and everybody no understand how it will happen, but really it happens. When Atmadati will come, it will start happening. Then, what you say, the last words, not the you are normal. not doer. <laughs> what? We are in the normal position. Or no, no, not doer. Oh, you are not the doer, yes. No doer. No duties. No duty is no doing. <sighs> Your duty is one pointed. Outside is no doing. Everything is happening. And that makes you the waves of surprise in your life. How this happened? You will him yourself surprise, my dear. You never dreamed that will happen to you. When I am doing, I try to do, but I cannot do anything. But when you start doing, all is start happening, and people start telling that you are doing, you are doing, you are so great person, but I know myself, I am doing nothing. All is happening because of you, and you give name to me. But I understand you are doer. That is happening. It's not mercy flowing. That is the thing. Siddha It happens when Atmadati happens. Guru charane rati, why rati? To understand rati meaning, then atma then ista rati. Ista rati, sarup rati, atma rati will. Three seventeen Bhagavad Gita, you can imagine. So all is is a many meanings of the Sanskrit. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Go on. Srila Raghunath Das Goswami also relishes Sri Radhika's sweetness through Viraha. Although he is her eternally perfect maidservant. Perfect. Prabhupada is also telling perfection in your sarup is a sarup, sarup city. Perfection, this word I say. See the mercy of great Mahajans, how they give everything in details. Bhagavad Gita, he said. <coughs> One word is also very nice in Bhagavad Gita about relation. He said, this relation is very elaborate subject. Elaborate, yes. Elaborate subject. Mm. Why he say elaborate, elaborate subject? Because Holy Scripture is based on relationship. And when I check myself, my relation is still not a start. So what I am doing for? <coughs> Means he said that I writing in the short, I giving you the point. When you will go in the scripture, then you will understand what importance of the relation with me. 
beauty of the spiritual relation. Go on. Shri Radhika always acts for Krishna's welfare. Therefore, she is named Kalyani here. Yeah, I can work for welfare of Krishna. Ninety-nine percent time is for myself. One percent time for something to show. <laughs> this is welfare for Krishna. <laughs> and I want to become Krishna, taking care of welfare of the Krishna. I have learned from Radhika, twenty-four-seven, never out from the welfaring of the out of the Krishna. That that devotion can keep the welfare of. From where I learned this? Without you? My Swamini? Never, nowhere. You teach us how to wealth take care, wealth take always caring to the Krishna. Because you do that. Go on. Nanda Maharaj daily feeds millions of brahmanas for Krishna's kalyan. And Mother Yashoda gets up early every morning to pronounce mantras for Krishna's perfect protection before he goes out into the forest. Mm. <laughs> so Krishna's constitutionally transcendental name is the fruit of the vines of all Vedas. You see, understand? So we are like a brahmana <laughs> in Nanda Baba <laughs> and Mother Jasuda house. We become pious person, and we are I start uttering about the scriptures and uttering about the slokas and remembering the sloka. We become brahmana. <laughs> they are all they are feeding and we are in that stage. You see Mahaprabhu and Ramananda meeting, they are also Karamkandi Brahman come. Why Kramkandi Brahman come? Because what is the difference between Kramkanda, <coughs> Bhadi Bhakti, and Raga Bhakti? The example is Kramkandi Brahman, and then Mahaprabhu covered himself that we will meet privately. It's not good to share this raga, loving exchange. Oh, Bhusakhe, we will meet and talk privately. Here also, there are also in goodness many brahmanas. They are eating and feeding and talking about the sloka for the benefit for the Krishna. We also do. <coughs> right or not? <laughs> For the benefit of the Krishna. Go on. <laughs> but Sri Radhika is even auspicious. But you his... under, the word understand, but which category you are? <laughs> this category? But <coughs> Radhika is also there. She is My God, Siddha Purush is right. There are two categories. Which category I want to stay? In a goodness? 
ओके आई विल बिकम ब्राह्मण इन प्योर गुडनेस बट मीन्स प्योर गुडनेस गोवा This can be nicely illustrated by the following song of Govinda Das describing Radha in Krishna's Purvaraga beginnings of love One duty a girl messenger came to Sri Radha to tell her how much Krishna is in love with her She's what this duty come to say what to radhika ramanand rai as a bisakha come to talk about love to radhika in rai ramanand sambhad Duty come to tell to Radhika. What is the meaning? The meaning the, in this la- way that is you are not pandit. That you will utter the sloka. You the rasik will listen to increase her ex loving feelings more. Who is Radhika? She want to increase. She not teaching here. She a big want to increase her love. More intense. No. Hmm. Jai Ho, Bhaiya Ki. Jai Jai. Come here, Bhaiya. Yeah. So one duty a girl messenger came to Sri Radhika to tell her tell her how much Krishna is in love with her Krishna is in love with her why she can to increase her love <coughs> duty's work is this manjari work is this to increase the love of radhika duti this is the work of duti that my swamini love more increase for krishna i say something the beauty of krishna more that my swamini become mad to see down she start feeling separation very intense when the somni manjiri is giving massage then she macha massage the feet how the krishna is massaging the feet for radhika she learned from krishna how she do how how she touch how pressure she give. and that way she is massaging to radhika feet and that radhika is close eyes feeling the krishna touch there this is the king kri is doing this is the seva for the king this is the mercy of chaitanya Oh Radhe when Subal gives Krishna a golden garland of champaka flowers his mind trembles and tears <coughs> of love flow from his eyes Oh beautiful girl your form always awakens great love in his heart
Day and night he murmurs, mumbles, without saying anything else out of confusion. Although hundreds of thousands of girls speak sweet words to him, he does not listen to them even in his dreams. He can only pronounce the first syllable of your name, Ra. But out of ecstasy, he cannot pronounce the other one, Dha. His eyes carry streams of tears. Who can describe his distress? Govinda Das submits this news about Kanu, Krishna, to your lotus feet. Know that he feels miserable and that only your grace, Kalyana, can destroy his suffering. Why Kalyani? Because she cares also to the Krishna. Not only to the Jiva. Jiva, she opened the vision to become one pointed, and the Krishna's love make him only to think for him. And when Krishna is feeling separation, she goes and gives all what Krishna wants. Even all his creation, she is there and caring like this to Krishna. There is nothing than Radha and Krishna. One point she live in the kunja, she never go out. <laughs> With Krishna. And when Krishna goes out, then Anang Manjiri is taking care. This also runs. All the moment she is only caring, caring unconditionally to make happy to his lover. Not only is Sri Radhika auspicious for Sri Krishna, She is auspicious for the whole world. You see? She is auspicious for the whole world. She is the Kalyani, she is the Kalyani, she is give Kalyani. Mercy for the whole world. I say in the morning how she give Kalyani. Mm, so nice. <laughs> <laughs> she is a Kalyani for whole living, living entity. All living entity, whole world is she put in. Can I ask something? Yeah. So, uh, Radha's love is unconditional, but she has a preference for Krishna. Is that that the beauty. Huh? Krishna means the, the soul and super soul. Krishna love means to make you universal. <coughs> like a father 
starts loving to the God. <coughs> and this God is father for Jesus, but the whole world becomes his family. He is all was family over. Why he say my family, my neighbors, my this? Because he sees with his relation with his father. And the father he is in everywhere. So whole world. So we see Krishna because this creator is the whole world. Understand. When you will know more details, then you will understand who was the father of Jesus. Son always cre- uh, make the big relation. He is not this genetic relation only. Then his family becomes bigger. Why? Bigger? <coughs> because he is related with divine. So he see only divine relation, living entity. All brothers, sisters, all my brothers. This is the divinity. And without mercy of divine, supreme, you cannot be a supreme relative, relatives of supreme, all supreme creator relation. You will not see that. When Jesus can see all, why not Krishna devotee can see that all the big beings is all my brother and sister. Right or not? It works like this. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> so we need Him. We need Him to increase my consciousness. Without Him is no way. But after that, soul is a marginal, conditional and independent. This nature of soul is not coming, going till you not take the shelter of the normal when you are not taking shelter of pleasure giving potency. Prabhupada words in the last paragraph of Bhagavad Gita. You will not become normal. Huh? One point. We are many pointed and we want Krishna. Krishna escaping out. We like the way of Radhika one pointed. For gathering information you no need Radha. But to love him without Radhika, how you will learn to love? Information gathering? and I have a doubt in Krishna, then sure, you don't need anything, your knowledge. Then no need, Radha. But the day you decide to love Him, you, without learning love, how you can do Him, to Him. Understand? You have no doubt in Him. Okay, I, what I will listen about you? I know you, my dear. No means, I know you means I love you. Then I have to learn that love, <coughs> unconditional love. When there you say, I know you, why I will gather information for you? Over. <laughs> but I know know you, then sure I will give time in gathering for you information on how you become supreme. Why you are supreme? Why? 
because I have a doubt. <coughs> and when I know you, I know you. <laughs> Over. Then what to do now? How to love him? <laughs> and that love to learn, we need Radha. Why Guru? Is a Radha Dasi? Gurus are all Radha Dasi. Dasi means if you have a boss, why do you bother for Dasi? My God. If the boss is sitting, why are you bothering for Dasi? Dasi is bringing you to the boss. Okay. Now you serve. You go to Gurudev. Gurudev bring to Rupa Manjuri to you. Then you have to miss Rup, hand of Rupa Manjuri. Then you have to learn from Rupa Manjuri. Your Guru is now Rupa Manjuri, expanded. And Rupa Manjuri give to Rati Manjuri to learn from him. So now you have to learn from him. Like this is the expansion, the Guru Tattva. So why? Kaliya? Getting there. Yeah. Can I make one question? Yeah. <clears throat> but now, to be practical, if you are satisfied of us, we have a chance to go grow. Otherwise, no chance. Why? Because you are the connection to this beautiful absolute truth. No, <laughs> no. This is, I am the big rascal, honestly. <laughs> if I am in that position, I am not going to talk. I close room and do bhajana. <coughs> Still rascalness is there, greed is there, sense desire is there, everything is there. By all Vaishnava mercy, one day can come in my life to change. I say, all, all the mercy of Vaishnava, this is the Nitta, Balram work. He make the seed and he f f finish fencing, fencing. Fancy. What is fencing? Vaishnava is my fencing. If I want to go for holidays, to make fun myself, no escaping. I cannot escape. But how to do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, what do you say, very getting. <laughs> I cannot jump out. <laughs> this is the mercy of Nitai. <laughs> Protection. <laughs> <laughs> so we are cutting you. <laughs> That's the point. This is the expansion of mercy. How she is kind and merciful in our life. Jiva is independent and he wants to be, try to be independent. Conditional also want to be in condition. This is the nature of the soul. <laughs> Marginal, I want to be ping pong, but I cannot do. You push me to be no ping pong now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not mercy. <laughs> Who don't want to be a ping pong? <laughs> Who don't want to be a conditioner? Everyone wants. But <laughs> Nitai mercy expands so much that he cannot do that. <laughs> Your independence is finished. <laughs> Two days before she said, go to Delhi. I said, I'm going to <laughs> So 
So this is the you lose your independence. That, that is the beauty. You lose your ping pong nature. That is the beauty of what you say. Fencing. Fencing. Oh, ah, der Gartenzaun. Der Garten. Garten. Der Garten. Der Mercy of really the mercy of Vaishnava is a very great thing. Ah. That day I was not devotee, that day also mercy of Vaishnava works. And they of little grove plant, then also mercy is there. And when it will be tree, then mercy as a fruit will come. And I cannot eat myself. I have to give to others. This is the Vaishnava mass. Right or not? This is also Chatrahi Gurudev. Chatra. You see this? Tra, the peace on each other, so beautifully. Sometimes you relish with this mercy. This is sloga is a long, long term. When long time come, then you realize that wow, what a beautiful thing! So why is Radhika auspicious? She is auspicious to the whole world. Whole world. Because to everyone is not Krishna who see only Krishna devotee. Radhika is a love, and whole world know this. <coughs> what about living being, the plant, animal, tree, and the birds also know this. Whole world means this world. There is no existence of any living being who don't understand them. You will go, whole world will understand, but if you find God devotee, then many atheists you will find. In a human being atheist, what about animal, dog, and animals and, and the tree, plant? They don't know. They have no idea about God. But the human or atheist, whose empire is bigger? Empire of love is bigger. My Swami empire, why is Krishna is massaging the feet of Radhika? Because your empire is bigger and you are the real queen, and I am your servant. I want to serve you. My, You make me to say to others that he is the supreme, because your love make me supreme. If you are not in giving love to me, I can, nobody is going to say me supreme. <laughs> <laughs> Your love makes me supreme. <coughs> and the devotees' heart become pure. Pure goodness when the mercy of Radhika comes in life. <coughs> if not, then we live in the goodness only. Goodness. Goodness, ignorance, person. Goodness, yes, ignorance, person. Yes, I was thinking. We cannot go other than goodness. If we are lucky, we are in goodness. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> if you go to the pure goodness, if you come down, it will be pure goodness sure. You will not jump forward, step back. Pure goodness is a beauty. 
and pure goodness to be identify your identification of a spiritual body. And why this exists? Because the yogis also say Anandamaya Kosh. What is this Anandamaya Kosh? We say the hell with the happiness with their that is the Ananda. Whenever sadness is coming, then you say here sadness is there. Oh, when I leave this happiness, then I feel sad. When I have to come out from this happiness, that creates sadness to me. I don't want to be minute out from that happiness. I want to always be with you in service. Right. Only finish the sentence, Gurudev? Yes. Only finish the sentence. So she is as auspicious to the whole world because she gives joy to the world as God's pleasure potency. You see? <laughs> pleasure potency. <laughs> of, which <You> the essence, <laughs> of which the essence is praying. Uh, pleasure potency. Pleasure. <clears throat> Who gives the real pleasure in the life to all living creation and to the, give the pleasure even to the Supreme? He not feel any pleasure without her. She knows that this Krishna is a devotee. You know devotee? Womanizer. Many gopis are friends of you. <laughs> After that, she is unconditional, one-pointed giving love. He's a stealer. He's a black. <coughs> but she likes. <laughs> you will not like Krishna when you will see with your eyes. You also like. And you will change it. <laughs> you will change yourself. She liked this. <laughs> this qualities of Krishna. And she wants to be always to think only for her. Only for him. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my judgment. English is very bogus. But by mercy of Sumiti, everything. Yeah. Radhe. Jai Shri Radhe. Jai Shri Radhe. I have a question for you. Yeah. I like somebody ask question. Yes. I, I, when somebody no ask, then I think nobody like what I am saying. We don't want to interrupt you all the time, Guru, if you're so fully in the flow. Flow. Bless me that I always stay in the flow. Krishna asks, I said, my mind is not working these days. He said, I understand. You don't want to use your mind now. I said, what you say? Mm. Not working. Yes, ask. It is only in Gaudiya Vaishnavism and the line of Mahaprabhu that we practice separation. And my question is, on which point or stage the, the relishment of separation starts and when we realize that actually separation is another kind of meeting? You know, Nitya Siddha, Sadhan Siddha, and Kripa Siddha. There are three types of Sakis and Gopis. So Nitya Siddhas, 
they are always living. They are sakhis. Laita, Vishakha, Ashta Sakhi. And they are parikar. But they are friend of Radhika. But they want to meet alone with Krishna. <clears throat> Ten thousand years Rama Avatar, they do the rishis, mercies, they do tapa to meet with a, like a conjugal lover, Ramchandra. He says, in Mariada, I am keeping Mariada, I cannot do this. When Krishna avatar, when I will take, then I will all invite all of you. That is it. This is Mariada avatar and that will be my Leela avatar. Means when I will try to play with everyone, what they want to feel, I will accept. The rishas of Vedas and the scriptures, the line, he say from 800, 900 months, yes, I am practicing to glorify you. What about me? I also want to 5,000 years. I am glorifying you. I also want to be your gopi. He say, yes, you will. So they have a desire to meet Krishna. The friendship with Radhika is just to reach Krishna. You understand? This is Gopi Bhav and Sakhi Bhav. And this Gopi Bhav and Sakhi Bhav is everywhere and one is Sachari Bhav. This you can see in Braja. They have never separation. It hurry bogs. All. They all the tne, raga margi. All they have this. Up to Sachari. But there are no manjaris. One pointed to Radhika. They all pointed to Krishna. <coughs> Manjari is never dreaming in the night also about Krishna. This is Manjari. They stop relation, any thinking of Krishna, then Manjari bhav can come. Try to understand. It's a very important thing. Mm. You have to forget Krishna 30 years practice. That is now sadhana. If you utter the name of Krishna and you will think for Krishna, Manjari Bhav will never come. You can think only Radha's Krishna. Mm. Not Krishna alone. If you have any greed of that, Bhakti Manoj Thakur is telling, never take association of those who talk about Krishna. <laughs> so good. Hmm? Is it that you want to say only in Manjari Bhav you can realize that separation is also kind of meeting because when you decorate Swamini, for example, because then she you is become meeting. so close with yes. Swamini, and then she's meeting there Krishna. is no privacy like Krishna with you also. <laughs> Swamini, no hide anything <coughs> from you. Mm. It becomes oneness with her. She feel, you feel, you feel, she understand. This oneness, closeness, makes separation when I know with her. Mm, and then separation becomes also meeting Gurudev? That separation only to meet with Swamini, not any business with Krishna. What to see Krishna is a goal. No. Manjari has no goal for that. <laughs> then Manjari bhav will never increase. 
బట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ వెరీ డిఫికల్ట్ ఫర్ మా ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ మంజరి ఫస్ట్ యూ చాట్ దట్ రాక్సోహని గివ్ హెల్ప్ దట్ కృష్ణ ఇస్ క్యాచింగ్ మీ he already entered in my heart and steal my heart now you help how to see you <coughs> krishna that this is your lover how i can make any physical or any relation a spiritual relation with him then is i am not honest with you like she has a love with the uh, Damodar, and I become friend of her because girl and Damodar is a very smart boy. Why not I steal Damodar for me? My goal is this, that I make friendship with her to steal Damodar when she is cooking. <laughs> when she believed me, that oh it's good girl my friend the lagal friend okay damodar go with her and do marketing and they no go marketing they go to the garden to exchange the loving affair <laughs> this is sakiva understand how the she will like this she will say bye bye my dear friend now i don't need you because i feel some dirty smell from you okay <laughs> bye bye right or not i will not cook when <laughs> <laughs> i will go she will not cook she will not watch me <laughs> this is manjari bhav and swamini keep this eyes she feel what they are doing <laughs> very careful manjari bhav come with this sadha radhe radhe jai radhe bole స్పిరిచువల్ బాడీ వితౌట్ బాడీ స్పిరిచువల్ బాడీ i cannot develop relation i cannot develop relation and i cannot serve light cannot serve without for hand and feet and feeling so form make the feel to develop relation soul cannot do this is the impersonal philosophy my abad still is not going from me <laughs> i am believing myself so only the my abad <coughs> no form it's a form read bhagavad gita 12th chapter 1 to 12 is a my abad philosophy it will very it will reach there but it will take a long time to this na say you can be a successful but is not a very easy way go on do that radhe details tomorrow aarti radhe radhe go